This is the Daily Solutions Podcast. All right. Hello, everyone. Welcome. Welcome. My name is Graham. And my name is Ashkan. And you're listening to the Daily Solutions Podcast. Yeah. This is our, our very first episode. Welcome. Welcome. Glad to uh, have you here starting this journey with us. Yeah. And I guess before we get started in the actual podcast, we just kind of wanted to introduce ourselves a little bit for those of you out there who might not be as familiar with us as we are. Yeah. So we are two of the owners of Float On. Uh, we have a float tank center. In, Woo! Yeah. <laughs> we have a float tank center. <laughs> we did it. We did it. Um, so yeah, Portland, Oregon is where we reside. That's where our float tank center is. And uh, we opened our doors back in 2010. Yep. And back then we just had four tanks when we kind of first opened up. And around yeah. uh, 2012, we expanded to six tanks, which is what we have now. Yeah, so it's been a very exciting journey for us. 2010 was a very different place in the world of floating, and we've gotten to see everything kind of expand and grow and explode and, you know, all the amazing things that's happened over the last six, seven years. Uh, so it's it's been really a pleasure to kind of be along on this wild ride. Yeah, and somewhere along the way as well, we started branching out beyond just running our own float tank center and kind of doing some other projects. So one of the first of those was Float Tank Solutions, which this podcast is a part of. And Float Tank Solutions is kind of our consulting side of things. So once we opened up a float tank center, all of a sudden, which is unexpected, we started getting crazy amounts of emails and phone calls from people who were thinking about opening up their own float tank center and had just a bunch of questions for someone who had kind of been through the early process so far. And Float Tank Solutions was born out of wanting to actually provide some benefit back to the float world and teach people some of the things that we've learned during our time running Float On. And so we have a lot of free resources on there that are definitely worth checking out from comparison charts for the different float tanks that are on the market to uh, whole intro guides on the basic concept of floating that you can give to your landlord or investors or anything like that, and a really extensive blog that you can go through. It has, at this point, um, hundreds of posts. I think I counted the pages. It's something like 700 pages at the time of recording is (laughs) is in our blog. So kind of a wealth of, of free info out there that you should definitely avail yourself of. And we also have some paid products as well and have been helping centers open since we started Float Tank Solutions in 2012. So things like a business plan, a templated business plan. We do a three-day training out in Portland every month that usually has about five or six prospective float center owners that come out and kind of learn from us what goes into a center. So a bunch of things like that. Again, very much centered on helping other float tank centers get open. Yeah. Uh, We've done a handful of other projects in the years since we've been open as well. Um, We put on the float conference that happens every year. Woo! Float (laughs) conference! Which is is definitely a ton of fun. Um, And we also make the Float Helm a software to kind of run your center in terms of scheduling, point of sale, and, you know, a lot of other kind of back-end center operations. And uh, I guess the last thing that we do is some book publishing as well. And uh, we've put out both some books inspired by floating and artwork and a a cookbook inspired by floating and also some old John Lilly books. And that's uh, Coincidence Control Publishing is is what that one's called. Yeah, and I guess in addition to that, we just kind of do whatever sounds fun for us sometimes, (laughs) too. Uh, We recently went on a giant float tour where we took an RV around the United States and Canada. Float tour! uh, Yeah. Visited 172 float centers over the course of three months while driving around, uh, mostly just because it sounded like a preposterous amount of fun, and uh, and it was. It was a huge amount of fun. So we've done a bunch of random other things like that, too. <laughs> um, and, and yeah, again, the, the premise of this podcast is really just to kind of continue that trend of helping out the industry and sharing what information we can. Uh, specifically in this case, we really wanted to hear from other people who are out there, either running a float tank center or thinking about getting their their toes a little bit salty in the waters. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so taking answers from people and actually just answering those questions in kind of a, a short conversational format. Yeah, you know, we have our we have our like three day training apprenticeship kind of program where we get to say a lot of information in a structured way, and we have our blog posts, which also take you know a lot of work to put into a form that kind of feels like a comprehensive post on a subject. 
And at the end of the day, when we grab beers with other float centers or when we're talking to people at the conference or just kind of casually hanging out with float people, we end up having these really nice, valuable kind of casual conversations about all sorts of weird little topics that don't always come up when you're kind of going over the the grander things you need to be thinking about. So this podcast really seemed like a nice way of getting some of that information out, you know, these kind of bite-sized attempts at, at talking about some of the smaller and kind of more detail-oriented sections of, of opening and running a float center. And I guess so much of the knowledge base out there for float tanks is so wishy-washy. Like, we're we're still kind of in the early stages of this industry, even though it's really popping and, and growing at this fast rate. And so, you know, we try to make our blog as uh, kind of comprehensive and thorough on different topics as we can. But so many of the topics out there, you just can't even do that. There's almost not enough information. And yeah. so the idea of having something that's just a little more conversational where we can really quickly go over how we don't really know what's going on <laughs> and uh, you know what you can look into a little bit more and where things might head uh, just sounded kind of appealing to us. Yeah, I have a suspicion that you're going to hear us say we don't really know probably a number of times in the, <laughs> in the episodes to come. So thanks for tuning in to listen. That's kind of the basic premise of the show. And we're planning on releasing one of these every single day. So yep. <laughs> get ready for a load of Graham and Ashcon time. And uh, please send us your questions. You know, this show will all be focused on answering questions that people have. Um, so, so let us know what you want us to talk about. Yep. And you can do that online at floattanksolutions.com slash podcast. Or uh, feel free to also just shoot us an email. Our contact information is up on that website as well. Yeah, I mean, if you want to send us Morse code messages, we can we can accept those. Carrier pigeons. <laughs> I've heard that if you put stamps on a watermelon and actually through, send it through the mail, it'll arrive at its destination. So if you want it to will. send us a watermelon-based question, yeah. you're free to do that as a well. A note made with the seeds inside. I mean, that sounds great. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, any, any way you send it to us, we'll, we'll try to answer it. All right, and other than that, thanks for listening. We'll be talking to you again tomorrow. Yeah, talk to you then. <laughs>